This local sports report is presented by FreightNav, a proud supporter of the Hamilton Kilty Bees. FreightNav is an easy-to-use platform, empowering carriers and shippers to work together directly. Download the app and cut out the middleman. It's convenient, affordable, and user-friendly. FreightNav, saving you money and time without fail. For more details, visit FreightNav.com. Camaraderie and chemistry are some of the things that you will notice about the Hamilton Kilty Bees this season. They're a veteran group looking to take the next step and win that championship in the Golden Horseshoe Conference. Playing their home opener here on Monday night against Niagara Falls. This is Nolan Underwood, one of the star forwards. Uh, what's the buzz, man, for Monday night? It's been a while, obviously, yeah. and it's been a while for everybody. Uh, what's the feeling in the dressing room about going out in this arena in front of fans again? Obviously, everyone's really excited and we're all really looking forward to playing again after 16, 18 months, however much it's been. But yeah, I think we're just eager to get going and really start off on the right foot. You like what about this group of guys? Every team is different and every team is unique and there's different characteristics and identities for each team. What is the identity of this group that you believe Nolan's going to allow you to be successful? Because of those 16 to 18 months that we had off, we were still practicing through some of those. Yep. And that's brought us a lot closer as a group our returning group. We're obviously trying to make everyone feel as comfortable as we are with each other. So I think being like brothers in the dressing room, both on and off the ice, it'll have an impact. Break down each sort of subgroup for me. Forwards, defense, goaltending. You got strong on the back end with McIntosh and Gage Stewart. You know, talk a little bit about the defensemen, the forwards, how it all clicks together, how it all meshes together. It's really early. I get it, man. Yeah. We've only played a couple of games in the season yet, but there must be things that you see already that make you go, I love this group and I think we got a chance. One thing I really like that's been implemented early on is how it's kind of like an NCAA experience where you're battling every practice for a right. spot on the roster, right. whether you're a D-man forward or a goaltender. Both our goaltenders are fantastic from what we've seen so far. So they're battling for a spot every night. Just like if you're a top six guy, you're battling to keep in that top six. And if you're a bottom six, you're looking to get up there or even just to crack the roster every night. So practice is important and that competitiveness fuels us to be better as a team. How do you want to be a contributing member to the team's success? And maybe touch on some of your future goals. Obviously, this league and this organization is about developing players and getting them prepared for whatever the next chapter in hockey may be. And kids go different routes all the time. What route would you like to go, and how do you want to be successful here? Right. Well, I want to go the NCAA route, and so um, I'm happy with where my education is at. And so I'm just focusing on the hockey portion now and really diving in every day, whether that's going to the gym or coming to the rink early and just being a leader to show the boys, like, be here on time and put in that effort in practice and in games to show them, like, for the younger guys, like, this is what you got to do to get in my spot, but also for myself, like, looking at other guys who have moved on yep, yep. to the BCHL is where I'm looking to go or the NCAA, the things you got to do, like going to the gym and showing up early. and. Yep being dedicated. What would you like those scouts and coaches to know about you, Nolan, who are watching this? Um, well, obviously, I like to play hard, and I want to score a lot more goals this year and put up points. But um, I really took my time to focus on my education in the past years, set myself up to go on to the next level. And now I just got to show that in my hockey as well. It's amazing no matter where I go, I bump into players that happen to play for Scott Rex, and I know he's no longer the coach of the Brantford 99ers U16 team, but you did play your U16 season there under Scott. You're born in Paris, raised in Paris, you know, played a little bit with the Wolfpack growing up, but also had a terrific experience playing for the Brantford 99ers minor hockey organization. Just go through that a little bit, because I really like kind of taking the time to reflect on where you came from, because I think that built the foundation for being in Hamilton and in the future in the NCAA? Well, yeah, Scott Rex did an amazing job with that program, as you can see by how many players have moved on to the yeah. next level yeah. and how many championships he won in the short period of time. Felt good to be the first. That was huge and kind of set the way for some of the younger guys. Um, but Luke Van Morkerkirk with AFT is also a huge factor of that. Yeah. He's my assistant coach and he's uh, the head trainer and owner of AFT. And every summer you see those guys who have moved on to the next level, they come back because they know how good of a program it is. And He's really done a great job with hockey culture in Brantford. Athlete farm training is what you're referring to there. Luke Van Markirk, who's the owner there, also involved with the 99ers organization. You're absolutely right, Nolan. He does a terrific job with the young athletes in the Brantford area. Last one for you. What would your message be to the Hamilton community about this team this season? 
Well, I'm really excited to just have fans back in the building. Whether that capacity is going to be 20% or 30%, I don't know what it's going to be, but um, we've got a really good team, and a, a team that's got a chance to go far. And so I think that's exciting enough to come out and watch, and hopefully we can put on a show for them every night. Keep working hard, chasing that NCAA dream, and while you're, while you're here, just keep putting the puck in the net. I know that's one of the goals for you this season. Can't wait for Monday night, the home opener here at the Dave Vanderchuk Mountain Arena. It will be the Kilty Bees and the Niagara Falls Canucks. That is Nolan Underwood from the Kilty Bees. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.